Oh, well, I mean, honestly, I didn't expect her to be released today at all. So it came as one of the most pleasant surprises I have ever had in a long time. Uh, she didn't deserve 10 days uh, incarceration. I mean, it, it, they are releasing her very late, actually. But whatever it is, I'm glad she's out. I think uh, the people's voices mattered, the pressure that, that, uh, that they felt because of, of the crowds that were meeting every day. But what is interesting for me is now we have a new movement against SOSMA. Uh, this has created a new movement against SOSMA. And what I will say is that uh, this is really Maria's success. Berse was her success. The people here are her success. That's what she has created. And I think we must keep the momentum going. So with uh, SOSMA being used on her, and today we saw and, uh, we saw Empower's office was also raided. raided. We were to see if you were Using SOSMA. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. And I don't know what the necess necessity to sh uh, close off the windows and so on. You know, I think they are treating NGOs who are doing wonderful work as if they are their enemies. And I don't understand it. They need to stop treating their citizens, the rakyat, as their enemies. And they are constantly suspicious. Uh, so I, they, they need to get over this paranoia that they have uh, and I think honestly it, it is horrifying to me that so much is being done in relation to small donations that these organizations may have got but the biggest donation of all being made to the Prime Minister nothing has happened they should be investigating that and not NGOs